What's up, what's up? We back at it, we back at it. We worked it out, we figured it out. So now we're getting ready to get into the nitty gritty. So hold on to your seats. What's going on? What's going on? It's the Conversation Kings, and we're right back at it like we never left. So we're back at it to do what we're doing, uh, coming with some impact, some 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 great information. We're going to do it. You know, technical difficulties will not stop progress at all. Technical difficulties will not stop progress at all. Anybody said progress was a slow process? Wasn't talking about me. All right, L, can you get on? I accepted it. Oh, uh, let's see. Can L come up? It says he is unable to join. All righty, let's see something. What's going on? Oh, they are really tripping with me right now. What's up, L? What's going on? Oh, okay, uh, I, I see he joined in. All right, we got we got him in the live. There you go, there you go, bang, bang, there you go. All right, let's see. It, all right, all right hold on. See if it'll pop up. The devil is a lie. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, man. Won't stop. Oh. Oh, can you oh. hear me? There we go. Yeah, we can hear you, man. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I I appreciate your patience with me, fellas. Oh man, yeah, we gonna do it. Again. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a conversation, man, if you wasn't in the building with all three of us, man. All this power in the building, it would be right. Oh man, I I I, I said the devil. I said the devil working tonight. Oh man, the devil is a lie, man. He ain't gonna get no win tonight, man. We are gonna push on through, right? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Oh, now they coming in. Yeah, what's come up? On in, come on in, Give some heart love. Tap in, tune in, cause y'all gonna need to hear this right here. We are gonna give y'all something that y'all can eat uh, for y'all spirit. Y'all can grow and y'all can move. Uh, this the conversation, kings. I got two powerful brothers here with me. I got at. I am Lamar Wilson, Mr. Good Morning World. I got the man in the building. I got my brother Al must preach in the building, doing what he do. Uh, L, if you would uh, tap in and let the viewers know who you are, what you do, and what you're about. Yeah, uh, I'm from Astoria, Queens. I'm an at-risk uh, consultant. I'm helping kids, and that's, that's really on that brink of, you know, want to drop out of high school or their, their grades are dropping. They they not having good relationships at home. You know they they you know school is not their their best friend. So I'm getting with uh guidance, guidance counselors and uh, uh deans to help them. You know put them right back on the right track. And then I'm also now I'm gonna start getting into the seniors where I'm gonna help them prepare for college or junior high school seniors prepare for high school. So that's my main focus right now uh, for the remaining of this year. Uh, just to really tap into the school. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I got my man Al. Al, tap in. Let them know uh, what's going on. We got a great mentor, coach, master builder. Go ahead. My 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 hundred percent focus is on helping people understand that pain isn't something they can't build back from. So I sit down with people. I try to educate them and give them pathways to be able to focus on rebuilding their lives from things that they think are are insurmountable odds. Everyone and everything in this life can build back because life is meant to be lived. And I think that's what people need to focus on. Mm. What's up? That's what's up, man. Thank y'all Benny Ning, for cracking the ice, man. We back at it. So the title was actually was uh, Life Don't Get Easier, You Just Get Stronger. So, you know, we're here tonight to encourage people so that way they know that they can always get stronger. And this is part two. And yes. we're going to keep it like a, a series going, man, because I think that honestly – People need to understand how they can be strength and uh, be moved to the next level, right? So I will ask, I'm going to start with uh, Al because I know you, you, you're doing something else also at the moment so I can get you and your answer because I know you're master building too. So how does someone uh, build up strength when they think their life is just at a struggle? You know, I, Les Brown always used to say, you know, if you get knocked down, make sure you fall on your back because if you can look up, you can get up, Right. So things that we have to focus and remember is, is the strength didn't come from somewhere outside of us. The strength was inside of us already. 
It wasn't outside, it was inside. So what we have to start doing is making a decision, what's most important to us? You know, there was a time where I, I was homeless and I lived on the street and I lived in my car. And while I was out there, what I could see was there was always someone looking to choose the path of going down that road and being homeless and staying homeless or fighting to get out. Yeah. So at, 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 at a pivotal time, you have to look at your surroundings and everything you are and you say, who I'm becoming, do I want it to be this over here or do I want it to be that over there? And you can choose to, it's not quitting, you're making a choice to go in a direction. See, because you have to work hard to be that homeless person just like you have to work hard to be that person that's, that lives in abundance. Facts. Facts, facts. Hey, I'm going to drop the same one on you, man. So how yeah. does someone build, the, you know what I'm saying, build up their strength when they think their life is rough right now? I, I want to say, I want to, I would say it's like, there's a couple of principles to it. Just to, just to tap in with, with Al. One, the mindset. The mindset is, is how, you, how you view yourself. Because no matter what, how, no matter where you go, you got, you got to deal with you. And if you can't, if you want, if you can change your mindset, you can change the situation. Let's just start there. Yeah. If you can change your mindset, you can change the situation, right? Then another one, another principle, people. The problem is, is that we we think because our our best cousin, our best friend is our cousin, our sister, our brother, but it's the people that you're around. That's really, it's really, it's so like, oh well, you can't, Al, you can't, you can't do this. You, what, what are you doing? It's like, why are you putting your limitations on me? Oh, you, you shouldn't live that lifestyle. You, oh, you should be homeless. Oh, you, you should have that, 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 that nice car. You shouldn't have that nice, you shouldn't have that nice, uh, 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 uh lifestyle. No. And it's the people, you know, and then, then, then I want to say what you feeding yourself. And I'm not talking about food. I'm talking about what are you feeding yourself when you wake up in the morning? What are you giving yourself? And it's, and it's because it's so important. If, if you out there, and I'm not, I'm not against, no, no, I, I, I'm not against music. I love music. I'm a hip hop head. Right, right. But, yeah. but this, but this, at this point, when you're trying to be on that path of, of greatness and success, come on, you, 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 you go back and then you feeding yourself to all that nonsense, and you're like, yo. How you do think it one way, but you listen to another way. So now, whatever somebody say, you going off the rug. You're going to be right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So I see that to big, piggyback on that. It's, the most important thing is we got to be careful what seed we plant in ourselves. So, so you on tonight, I want you to understand. The seed that you plant in yourself, you are responsible for how it grows. No, no doubt, no doubt. That's so definitely. the way the way you water it, don't get mad because it didn't work out. Don't get mad at Dom. Don't get mad at, at Al. Don't get mad at Lamar. You water it. Yeah. You think because you put a little water on it, it's supposed to be a tree. You ain't stay long enough. You gotta you gotta literally you gotta work on it. You yeah. you, you gotta work, you know? They, they look at look at look at uh bamboos and, and palm trees. That, that that that's tough. That and that so my so my question to y'all tonight is, what? How much time are you putting into yourself? Yeah, yeah, that's that's dope right there. That's dope. You know, I, I appreciate you, brothers, because both of y'all just dropped off some some real uh, true knowledge and encouragement. You know, and I was watching this documentary right, and they were showing Michael Jordan highlights and everything. You know, I love Mike, man, because Mike is like one of the greatest. But what I loved about the documentary, it showed the process that he had to go through before he even got to that next level. He had right. to go through some tough times, some rough seasons. I hope yep. you hear what I'm saying. He had to go through some go. tough times and rough seasons and yep. before he even moved to the next level. He wasn't even great when he got to the next level because now, like, like Al and uh, L was saying, and I love the fact that L said too, the people you're around, he had to get a certain team around him. Yep in order to help boost him yep. to the next level into the championship level. And see, right now, if you are in that Michael Jordan stage, you got three Phil Jacksons helping you run your triangle right. to get to the next level 
They don't want that. Yep. And, and, and can I, can I, can I kind of oh, jump in on on that real quick? Interject. You, you know, but always remember there were stages of teams. Let's use that Jordan example. There were stages of teams of Jordan's championship run. Yeah. And, and, and for the younger people, let's talk about it from the Golden State perspective. There were stages of teams upon their championship run. You know, it wasn't, you know, you, you had the core and the core nucleus, but the core nucleus was good at the right time for the right situation to win a championship. OK, but when everybody adjusted, when the world didn't stop for them just because they were good that one time, then good. now they had to continue to evolve. And so they brought in new players. They brought in new teams. And so you as a person have to continue to evolve. You can't sit back. Don't give yourself more than a minute to be happy for your great and celebrate your greatness. There's nothing wrong with that. There's not an ego thing to celebrate your greatness. It's an ego thing to dwell in your greatness. Sit there. Yeah. 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 And you know, let's stay stay there. Because let's stay with the Jordan. Let's stay with with, with the Steph Curry. They're one of the, the best, greatest basketball players, Kobe Bryant, LeBron, right? But they still go to the sideline for the coach and get that mindset. Yeah. And that's what I, and, and how many of y'all right now are going to the sideline and get and talking to your coach? Because you, we all need help. There's no way, not one of them players can say they did it by themselves. Back, so you back. gotta get with someone, and you you gotta. It's okay to to distance yourself from people and get with the right person. I, I like you know what, Doc. I like the way you're moving. I need to be around you because I don't like the way I'm moving. And, and you set in the tone. So when I when I get around you, I love your energy. Your energy makes me want to be a better person. But then when I go around the corner and I get up with my boys, my girls, and then I go back to what I what I really don't want to be. Stay in the area that you know you you, you feel better and you perform better. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's so true. You know, we got to set ourselves up with people that's going to feed us, going to encourage us. You know, if if we move it to the next level, then, of course, you want the people that's around you to move to the next level. But also, you want to have that the right coaching, the right uh, people that's helping you, uh, your mindset, people that's going to help you uh, get through certain stages of your life where you're yeah. struggling at, where you... You know, you, you you need to find that strength, and you're at a, a stage in life where it seems so rough, and it seems like you're in a struggle. But we we have to set ourselves up around people like uh, Lamar, like Al, like myself, where you know we come in and we come together, or we come in separately, one on one group coaching. But right. people out there, I'm telling you, you need to set yourself up with someone, one of us, because you're gonna get some great insight, somebody that's gonna hold you accountable, somebody that's gonna help take you to the next level. And that's what we're here to do tonight is basically telling you, look, life don't get easier. You just get stronger. But you need the right people around you to help you get stronger. You got to get a coach. You, and, 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 that, and here's the crazy thing. Sometimes your coach is not even looking for a payment. Facts. Fact. Your, your effort and what you apply in your work is the payment is all they need. Sometimes you really just got to look from the outside. All the inside and say, yo, out. What, what you're doing, your story, your background, can I just stick, Can I just take you away and just pick your brain and, you, and, 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 and see and dissect mine because I'm out here, I'm losing. I got more losses at home. Oh, let's stay with the basketball. I'm losing at home, but I got more away. I got more wins away. Right. It, it, it don't work. I'm not going to make it to the playoffs. I'm never going to see a championship because I'm losing. And right. you win it, so I need to know how you win. I need to have more wins at home than away. Right. So, so, so let me, let me, let me take it to what a lot of us, you know, and, and I'm assuming that there's a good number of African American black folks, you know, that are on listening to this right now. And it doesn't matter where you come from, but let me talk like I might think they might understand, okay? Ahead, if, you're, ahead, if, if you're close, if you're close, preach, if, if, if you're 35 or older, right? Because I must <laughs> preach, right? So, listen. When the student is ready, the master will appear, okay? Ooh. Ooh. The disciples Ooh. didn't find Jesus. Jesus found the disciples. Drop the mic. Drop the right? mic. Right? Okay? So that's what happened. 
when the disciples were ready, you have to remember those disciples were already stand up people within their own community. They were business owners. They were strong people within their community. So he was, Jesus was strategic. Jesus didn't accidentally fall up on just some random guys, all of a sudden make them good. Right. He actually just made them better by giving them structure of the mind to a system that will enhance who they are. And it was rough for them to adjust. So just like the brother said, it's going to be rough for you to adjust to the person you're going to become. That's okay. You have to decide whether you have enough heart to make the change. So let's go back to the Jordan story, right? So Jordan had to overcome the Pistons and Boston and all of these other teams that were dominating the East in the late 80s or early 90s. But what did they say he did? He went to the weight room. He didn't wait till the season started. He went and got in the weight room, got stronger because he said, if they're not going to change the rules to make it easier for me, I have to change who I am to be able to compete. And see, so the competition isn't with the world. The competition is with the person, with the obstacles that will stand in the way of the person you're becoming. So mm -hmm. if you start to knock out the obstacles out of the way from the person you're becoming, then you can climb any mountain. And then one day you'll realize it's just a matter of my mind shifting in order for me to be able to move any situation. And for situations that aren't for me, I don't force it because that's how I lose. I put energy into stuff that's not living for me. Mm. I, I, I really do. I'm, I'm going to just jump this in there. They come on air. I love what you're talking about, the disciples and Jesus. See, but when Jesus came, they had to be willing. They had exactly. to give up. Give up all of their and, and show, yep. show God yep. all of their insecurities, all of their yep. doubts, all of their fears. You know, yep. that's what a good coach would do. He'll, he'll come to you Knowing that we have those uh, those faults and those fears and all those doubts and insecurities, but yet and yeah. still, I can take you from that simple fisherman yeah. to being the greatest yeah. disciple that you yeah. can be. See, and sometimes as coaches, yeah. we can take you from the smallest part. I, 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 I see you. I see you. I'm about to jump off and give it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> you we can good. Take you from good. the smallest part and help elevate you to the greatest you you can be. Exactly. There you go. And you know what, Don? The problem is people people have a hard time being vulnerable because they're like, Yo, Dom, I need help. They don't want to say that. They don't they don't want to say I need help. Oh, I I oh yo, my finance is not right. And you be like, yo, how's your credit? Oh, yo, it's good. And then you pull it. Oh man, it, it's it's lost. And if you need that help, go there, submit. They say submit, submit to submit. If I know I got a, if I know I got a problem, I need to submit everything so it's all laid out so we can go and we can break it all down and we work on it. That's the only way. If I'm hiding and stuff, I can't help you. Oh Man. yeah, this brother, this came up. So I need to, I need to make sure when I come, I got a marriage coach. I know I need to submit in order for him to properly help me. Yeah. So I got to get up. I know with stuff that I deal with when I was 16, 17, that stuff comes up now and I'm 39. So I know I got to get around a group of men that's dealing with stuff or that dealt with stuff. I get around and I'm vulnerable because now it helps me better be a better husband, be a better father, be a better person. I can't go into the world and my family or my wife or, or my friends, El Dom, Al, Al cannot, don't know what I'm dealing with. So we got to stop suffering silence. You need help? Get the help. You don't know where to turn to? Find somebody that you... We're on social media every day. You know that person showing you love, you showing out. Reach out to that person and say, hey, man, can I talk to you? Stop hiding and stop suffering because, you know what? I don't want to get the help. I'm going to just keep playing. I'm going to keep running up and down the court, up and down the court. Man, you, you're just wasting your time. You ain't going nowhere. You, you ain't making no baskets. You ain't getting no skills. You're not getting nothing because you won't stop and say, I need to sit myself down. I need, I need, I need a coach to come and sit with me and say, yo, you out here playing crazy. Oh, man. You know, and that's uh, really good. L, what you, what you said, I picked that up at the end, right? You wonder why you're not getting no playing time in this game called life. It's that old. Old. Oh, come on. And they're getting the same results over and over. Over and over. Well, well, well you, know, you know it's interesting. Life is happening. Yeah. 
right? No matter what we do. The thing is, is when you deluded yourself to believe that you're NBA quality. The thing is, is when you deluded yourself to believe that you are an all-star, that you are a superstar, that you deserve MVP. Listen, it takes, you have to focus so much to be that guy, to be that person. Right. And so if, if the goal is to be the MVP of your life, because there are people that count on you, then you can't be distracted by other things. You can't let other people take away from your, and I know that takes time. We live in a world where distractions are every day, all the time. People, listen, if, if, for, and, and you know, Kobe talked about this. He said, you know, I realized when I got in the league that when I saw guys that didn't want to go to extra practice, that didn't want to, he said, I knew I'd be better than them because I would just put more time in. Mm -hmm. So how yeah. much time are you putting in? So as, 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 as we've said time and time again on this, you don't have a coach. So you're getting results based upon what you know. Right. You can't just you just can't think it out. And so so let, let me let, let's let's be real. Let's talk about greatness. OK, and we use athletics, but we can go all around the, all around things. Let's talk about greatness. You're great in basketball. They had Tim Grover. They had, uh, 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 you know, Phil Jackson, Tex Winter. You had, you know, a lot of great coaches, uh, uh, Popovich, Don Nelson. You go yeah. to golf. Tiger Woods had coaches, the best okay. coaches. The greatest golfer ever had the best coaches. Right. Serena Williams had the best coaches. Uh, Simone Biles had the best coaches. We're talking about people at the highest level. There's no higher than these people that we're talking about. And yet we think that we can accomplish the things in our lives. You know why? Because we think too small of our accomplishments. We think mm. too small of what we mm. can do. See, we don't see, what, what, we don't see the greatest version of ourselves on par with those people that I just named. Man. Just because we don't do it in their field doesn't mean right. that we don't have the greatness in our own lives. Right. We need you to be, but you're not going to get there when you surround yourself by your own voice. Your voice is what's keeping you out because you've not trained to hear yourself any other kind of way. And yeah. as you speak it, so shall it be. Yeah. Mm. And, 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 and this is what you're dealing with. And I, you know, so if you're not willing to step out of your own way and be teachable and coachable, so you got to ask that. So because we ask that as coaches, we don't want to just coach anybody. We don't right. want to just help anybody. We right. want to help everyone, but we don't want to put our efforts and our energies and put them on people who are not serious. They're just curious. Um, we want to make sure that people will go out and do the work. That was yep. a bar right there, Al. And, and, yep, it really and so was. Yep. One of them, yeah, he, he dropped some bars in there, man. And I hope you, everybody out there, either watching right now or watching the replay, I hope you catch these two impactful and, and powerful gentlemen as coaches bringing you some great insight because what we're talking about is even though life is not going to get easier, you just get stronger, you have to be locked in and determined to reach that goal. So we right here as coaches, mentors, we want to help you be locked in to your goal. But you got to say, okay, I can't sit by myself and say, I'm going to do this by myself. Because no matter what, Kobe needed Shaq. Michael Jordan needed Pippen. Steph Curry, he needed, uh, 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 what's my young boy name? Clay Thompson and Draymond. Clay Thompson, cool. come on, man. You yeah. need somebody else to go along with you along this journey if you're going to get to the championship, if you're going to become stronger in this walk of life. So that's why we came together as yeah. one to help to show people that, look, if we can come together and encourage you to be stronger because we're yeah. stronger, yeah. then why could you just reach out to us and say, hey, look, L, I need you to coach me on this. Al, I need you to coach me on this. You got three individuals right here that you can choose from to help you walk down yeah. that line, assess whatever you're going through to help get you to the next level. And the next level is – your desired results because i always say success is uh by the individual success mm, mm. make that success what you want to reach not what somebody right. else has and you know what crazy you know what's crazy fella the coach if you ever noticed not just the players that need the coach even the coach 
has an assistant coach that he could go to. So don't think like we at our highest level where we don't, well, how, how do I know that your stuff works? No, 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 no. We still get in the work yes. from a higher level. Yes. And we're like, okay, I know I'm working on stuff, but I know the stuff that where you at and where I'm at, I can get you where I'm at. And it's like, Phil Jackson had assistant coach. Everybody has assistant coach. And then they got defensive. Oh, come on. They yeah, got yeah. defensive coaches. Yeah. Football. How many coaches are <laughs> How many right. coaches you got? And it's like, you don't want to do it because the first thing that comes to your mind, probably mindset. Y'all, oh, if I throw a price out there, now nah, I'm good. So you telling me you like the way you live in, the relationships you got going on in your life, the relationship you got with yourself, you like where it is. So you willing to pay forty, fifty dollars or two, two hundred dollars for a pair of shoes, a fifty dollar shirt, whatever. But you're not willing to get the the right proper coaching. Hey, but you mad because now I was like, oh wow, well, you know why you got to charge me? I'm, I'm your boy. We grew up together because this is not about the relationship you and I got. I if you pay for it. I know you're gonna apply. You're gonna apply it, but after I give it to you for free, you ain't gonna apply it. You're gonna be like, "Thanks for the conversation." So no, you need to. You need to. It need to hurt you. And you. It gotta hurt you. Let me take. Oh, I paid you a hundred dollars for an hour. Okay, now go do the work. Right. You got the information. You got the time. I gave you my. I. I, I don't give this out. I don't give this out on social media. Like this is paid. I, I, you lucky I gave it to you for a hundred dollars. I should charge you more because you wait until the last minute and you come to me with your problem. When I know that problem was, you had that problem for months, years, and now you come now because now the, the table done broke. So now I got to help you fix the table, put the table back together, set it all up, and act like it never happened. And you crying over fifty dollars. Right. You crying over oh we got to spend an hour together. Oh I can't make it out. Oh son came up. You won't get another chance. Yeah. So, 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 let me let me let me let me throw this in there if I if I can. There's two things that I want to talk about. One, understand the difference between community and neighborhood. Ooh. Okay. So oh, oh, what what oh, we're okay. talking about is building a community. Yes. Communities thrive. Communities have interrelated purpose. Okay. Neighborhoods just live with each other. You can move into a neighborhood and never be connected to the community. I want you to understand that. That's why coaching is important. That's why mentorship and, and finding peers that are on the same journey is important. So when you're with coaches, they connect you with peers who can be support system and accountable with you. Sometimes the coach knows the right person to connect with you to be able to make sure that you guys thrive. That's what a community does. So that, that's, that's huge that people understand that, okay? community in your neighborhood okay don't just be in neighborhoods because right now that's where you usually are and that's why you're not winning mm -hmm. and then the second thing on paying for something okay no one can determine my value of what i know i do that okay so when i say something to you my job isn't to do anything but to give you the value that i offer now if you take it and do something with it if it is advantageous to your life that's that's beautiful. Right. If you don't, it doesn't diminish what I know and what I do because right. my value was to give you this information. You have to then be an adult and mature and disciplined and focused enough to be able to take that information and make it work for you. Because I can tell you, we see it all the time, social media, there are people that are given all this kind of information for free. There's, there's, there's all types of of YouTube channels and, and gurus and all kinds of people that are yeah. saying things. Yeah. Not, we're not inventing anything. We may resonate with you because of our passion, because of the connection for other reasons. But the reality is, is I have one job. If mm -hmm. I'm going to coach you is to mm -hmm. teach you what I know, to teach you a system that makes sense to me outside of that. And, 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 and remember this, if you don't do it the way that I said it and it doesn't work, it's not my fault. You fault. didn't do what I said. You fault. did what you wanted to. It's too many people that come in the world and say, I want to have what this neighborhood has or this community has. That's what they say. I want to have what this community has, but I want to do it my way. Well, everybody in the community is doing it the way that the community does it. You can't make something that's already made it. See what I mean? I'm not saying that you can't bring your own flavor to it. Everybody can cook a dish and you can add your own spice to it. We do it all the time. 
All the time. But it's still the dish. It's still the dish. If we make fried chicken and you add Zatarans versus Old Bay or Lowry's or whatever, okay, that's what you do, but it's still fried chicken. And if it ain't good fried chicken, it ain't good fried chicken. So that's the point. You don't, it don't, it doesn't become baked chicken. You see what I'm saying? You still got to cook fried chicken. Put it in the grease. So stop trying to tell your coaches and your mentors how it's done when you came to them asking for how it's done. Right. So yeah. join the community. Facts. Be a part of the community. Stop being in the neighborhood trying to watch from the street and film the information for free. Don't be that person that sees somebody training at the park and want to film it and then go home and practice the steps. Go pay for the man's class. Support them. Patronize them. Because they'll probably give you more value for what you actually paid for. Yes. yes. People, yep. people who... When a, when, a, when a mentor sees a serious person, they give more free information to them. But you know what they also will do? They will push you beyond your limits because they know you're only asking for the bare minimum of what you need. Right. You yeah. have to be there and be present and not make excuses and be accountable and be willing to be scrutinized and criticized in a way that helps to motivate you. Don't be the plant that doesn't grow because it doesn't want to be agitated. Be the plant that grows because it's been agitated. It can bear the, the, the brunt of the wind and the, 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 the weather and the showers and all those things and find a way to still be successful. Be great. Don't be, don't be, don't, don't get, get out of that poverty mindset. We, we're in abundance yeah, thinking here. Poverty mindset, man. That's so true. Yep. You know, Al, it's, it's like this. Remember my, one of my friend girls was talking, right? And she said, uh, you can give somebody the blueprint, teach them how to read the blueprint, but yet it's still, they want you to go build it for them. So it, it's just crazy because we giving you the blueprint right here for free. And this should be a charge, but we're giving you the blueprint right now for free because this is a passion that we have to coach mm. and encourage somebody else, to motivate somebody else, to lift somebody else up so they can get to the next level, get the results that they desire to achieve their personalized success. But the thing is, we're just telling you, you have to focus when you get with the right coaching. Because if you're out of focus, then your life is a blur. Then you're taking snapshots right. and, and the camera's off. So what you need to do is get with the right coaching that's going to help you line it up, take you in that dark room, make sure that, the, that your picture of your life comes out as clear as you want it to be. And sometimes people don't <laughs> want to go in that dark, Al and L. They don't want to go in there because no, they they're don't. in their dark no. places. Yep. So we're just trying to bring that darkness out of you so you can live in a marvelous life. Amen. Yep. Hey, and you know the crazy thing, fellas? People are so comfortable being comfortable. Yeah, yeah, L. People are so comfortable being comfortable. They like, wow, that, that just seemed like too much work. I mean, there got to be another way. Why are you trying to find a loophole? Because if I give you a call, you won't crash it. But if you work for it and you take your money and you go buy yeah. it, you don't make sure that you drive the right speed limit. You don't make sure you wash that. You go get that car washed, clean that car. Nobody eating in the car. Why? Because you got you put value in that car. And I'm asking you, why are you not putting value in yourself? Why is it that you want someone to knock on the door and say, remember this? Yo, you think, oh, you, your job hiring? No, go, no, I'm not going to help you no more. That's not back in the day. You got to do the work. Yeah. If I did the work, I got to a point where now I did the work and I'm still doing the work. And now I can say, all right, let me help somebody else do the work, but I'm not going to give you the work. I cannot take, I cannot go and say, Dom, let, yo, bring me, uh, put me on the arm so I can, so I can share, uh, get your success. Thanks. That's not fair. Thanks. That's not fair to you. You put the work in, and I'm coming. I'm like, well, I just want to enjoy your benefits. Oh, I don't want to do the work. Nah, I, I, I don't want to do the work. I just like the lifestyle. I see the lifestyle. I just don't want to do the work. It right. got to be a better way. No, the better way is doing the work, and the work is okay. There's work, but I can't do this alone. I need someone to hold my hand while I do this. Not because I can't do it. It's because I need guidance, because I know myself. I know if I don't have someone with me, 
I'm going to go back to what I was doing or I'm going to derail myself. I'm going to get lazy because after motivation is discipline. Yeah. And I'm not disciplined enough because now I'm at the gym on, on January 1st. Now it's, uh, it's, it's, February, it's April 29th and now I'm back at home and I'm making up excuses and the excuses sound better than the actual work. Yes, yes. So now I just pay for a membership and now if I cancel, it's going to cost me $700. So I'm going to just eat that and just pay $20 a month, but I'm not going to hit the gym. And now you wonder why you can't get the summer body. But now you wonder why now doctors got to tell you that we got to put you on pills because you're not mature enough and you're not disciplined enough to take care of yourself. So now we got to do your job. Now you met. Oh, now I got diabetes. Now I got high blood pressure. Now I got all this stuff. Now I got to Now I got to go. Uh, I got to get checked in. And why? It's because you have got to a point where you got lazy. It's easy for you to be comfortable and go go to work, come home, make dinner, take care of the kids, watch a little TV, repeat. And you wonder why? Why is that guy? Why that guy got? Why why that person got the job and that money? That should be my position. You didn't put the work in. Oh, you got the years, but you ain't got the work. Yeah, yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah, it, it's work ethic, and it's about, you know what I'm saying, like we said at the beginning, it's about the mindset, man. If, if you got, like, I love Al and uh, Al when y'all, because last time Al talked about it too, and Al, you said, it's the poverty mindset. If I have a poverty mindset, then I'm okay with, like Al said, just being content in where I'm at, because I don't want to grow, like Al said, as that flower you know, I don't want to grow. I'm, I'm cool with being a weed instead of being a, 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 a sunflower. You know, like, like the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. See, right now we out here in the harvest and we out here being laborers and we're trying to push that. You need a coach. You need somebody out there that's going to uh, help you go in that direction, hold you accountable, you know, tell you we're we not yes men. I'm going to say that. We're not yes men. We're not here to say yes you are, yes you can. We're here to tell you no, don't do that. No, don't do this. It's okay to go to this level. It's okay to open this door. But a lot of people don't want to hear that. So what can we do uh, more of to help people to get stronger as far as helping them? I don't have the time to sit around and wait for you to decide if I'm worth it. There you go. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, it just, what I know, what I know and what I've done, the things that I've, I've accomplished, the, the, the life that I've lived, because what I, what, here's something that I, I need everybody to understand before the end of the night. And, and you need to write this down. I'm it's write a down long game. Phone. It's a long game. See, you, you, you have to know there's going to come a time where your physical ability to try to overcome challenges in life won't be there. Right, right. So that's why it's so important to develop the behavior and the mindset that goes along with it. It's not because we want you to be able to be successful right now. Everything you're building is for the person you will be one day. Right. You have to imagine when you say, dream about the things that you want to do and the places you want to be and the place you want to live and how you want to retire and all these other things. Okay, that's wonderful. But you have to know that the work you're doing is so that's really going to happen. So you have to know that the long game is the day-to-day -day work all, you know, all the way up to it. It's not the, oh, I got to party and I got to go do this. Everybody wants to have an exciting day every day. It's not the way that the life works. The life works. I was reading something, or no, I was listening to something. Steve Harvey was talking about him smoking cigars. And he says, you know, don't tell me about how bad cigars can be for me when you don't understand that this is the only relief that I get maybe in a 17, 18 hour workday. Right. Is a mm -hmm. few minutes to be able to have that. See, so we're not talking about work, work, work. We're talking about you have to set up a structure within your life. And I'm not going to give you too much game. Y'all haven't y'all haven't done nothing to deserve it yet. You know, I love you. I'll give you love, but I'm not going to give you game, right? But I'm going to tell you a few things that are important. And one of the important things is, is you have to have a, a structured life. It won't always be a balanced life, but it has to be structured because you have to prioritize the things that are going to allow you to accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself. You have to be methodical. See, I know what the problem was. A lot of y'all, 
y'all didn't necessarily like school. You didn't like structure. So you stopped, you stopped focusing on the thing that actually taught you to how to be what you are now. People keep telling you, well, school just teaches you how to, you know, be a, a subservient person to work in the workforce and to do all this. But school also teaches you how to get up every day, yeah. go to do something, stay focused on something. See, it's all about the way your mind thinks about it. See, it. If, if your mind thinks about it in a way to where it's what was happening to you, you won't see it what is happening for you. That's where you're missing. Right. You see, so, so, so we're not here to try to impress you. We're just here to impress upon you the importance of getting support. We're here to impress upon you the importance of being within a community. We're here to impress upon you the importance of valuing yourself and the things you've accomplished. I don't care how far you've gone down in your life. You learn things. The homeless man that is alive and 90 years old and has been on the street for 60 years has accomplished more than the person that's a millionaire at 20. Mm. You don't mm. see it because you're looking at the money. But he might die at 22 and that homeless man lived. It didn't matter how he lived. He made it longer to be able to have a shot at doing something different in this life. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yep. There you go. There you go. You know, it, it's, it's the whole setup, though. Like you said, it's the way you think about it. Because, you know, it's perspective. Like, like uh, I love this little thing. It's a little, like, a uh, picture. And it has two people in the cell. And both of them are looking out the the, uh, the cell jail, and they're both looking out the bars. One sees the bars, and the other one sees the forest and the beauty of the outside. Mm, yeah, yeah, I see that. So it's all about what you look at in, in a perspective on your life. Because if you only see the negative, then you're only going to have a negative mindset. If you only see that I don't have enough to make it to the end of the month, then you're looking at the wrong thing. You know, I, I oftentimes I tell people I'm rich and I'm wealthy. And they're like, well, you're not driving a big fancy car, but I'm rich and I'm wealthy. Because internally, I have we have to set ourselves up as I have enough. You know, the yeah. money will come. If you're not chasing the money, the money will come. If you're chasing your own individual uh, growth, then all of that will come. So that's what we're here for. We're not here to just uh, tell you, look, this is the path to success, and at the end of it, it's a million dollars. No, we're telling you that you're going to have to go through these steps, and there's steps to get to the next level. There's steps to reach that desired goal. Because once you reach that one level, you're going to have to go to the next level. But we have to walk you down that path in order to get to that next level. So what areas in someone's life could we help them get to that next level as coaches? I think the, 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 the areas that they is, – is Really, where they felt, we got to identify where the problems in. Because there's some people that's out there that want to say, I want to start this business. But they got no customer service skills. They, not, <laughs> they don't got no people skills at all. Right, right. And so we, and so we, need, to, we need to find the root. I, I saw, I saw a sign uh, the other day um, about icebergs, where they said, like, icebergs, you only see the tip. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was literally just floating on water. They said, no, 90% of the iceberg is in the water. 10% is only shown. So that means we, you're gonna come to us for help, and you're only gonna give us 10% of what you want us to know. But there's 90% that yeah, we need to uncover so we can actually get you to that that point where you need. So, I, so to us, it's fine. Let's identify the problem first. Let's talk about you, and then let's dig deeper into where did you, how did you get here? Because if I help you at thirty, at twenty three, to get to thirty, but then you still dealing with twenty two, twenty one, twenty nineteen, and so on, you you gonna bring all that with you, and they're like, oh Lamar, you didn't help me. Well, you didn't tell me that ninety percent of the issues were still in the water. Right, right, yeah. So that's hey, what hey, we hey. gotta find. You know, it, it, it's, it's something that I think a lot of people probably miss. Listen to what we're, listen to how we talk. So if you want to understand an immediate shift that you can have in your life, is you have to start to listen to how the right type of thinking comes out of the mouth. Right. And see, that's something that's powerful. Your, your, your conversation 
is going to change a lot of your entire environment and the, and the trajectory of your life. The language you use, the people you talk to, the things that you say, the idea of that it's a success conversation. Stop saying, well, you know, this is my job and they did this and it sucks. It may suck. It may suck. But you don't have to say that every day. Right. And you don't have to, you don't have to buy in. You might want to say to everybody at your job, hey, today is a great day. People come by you. They say, hey, how's the day? Oh, man, it's great. And what you, what you normally will say is, oh, well, you know, it's okay. Because you want to shrink yourself right. to the level of the people who don't value themselves yet. Just because you don't want to feel like you're not a part. Yep. But yep. You, you, you're not a part. And it's okay because you didn't plan to stay where you were. You plan to use that thing to get you to where you need to go. So you don't like the job, okay, but you got to eat. So go and use that job. Get paid and eat. Right? Use the language to then meet the right people to connect. Practice with the people at your job on how to network properly, how to have a right mindset. You'll start to see people around you will be like, man, I really appreciate the fact that you always have a good attitude. They'll come to you. They'll look for you for advice. You might not know more than them, but they come to you because you offer something that everyone else in their world doesn't. You offer more than mediocrity. See, they're accustomed to mediocrity and less. You're trying to give them something just by being the best version of you every day. Mm, so funny. you want to be somebody that doesn't succeed? Continue to use the language of unsuccessful people. If you want to be someone that succeeds, and whatever success is, is defined by you. But if you want to be that, you have to speak the language of ownership of it. You can't speak the language of renting because when you rent things, they can take it away. Right, right. When you own it, they never can take it. That's right. That's why people put so much emphasis on, on knowledge and wisdom and intelligence. Because I can't take those things from you. Now, time and Alzheimer's might. But, <laughs> you, you know, but, but, you know, but, but you got to think. And, 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 and let, let me be clear. Something else that you can shift. So language isn't powerful, but you got to also think about what you've done to the vessel. What have you done to the temple? Okay, I'm not going to hit you over the head. You know, some people are built to be able to do certain things on a regular basis. Some can drink, some can do other stuff. You know, some can eat a lot, all their, and their bodies can handle it. You're not them. You're, you're who you are. Don't, right. don't mirror those things in them, assuming that it's universal for everybody. Because you might have to stop those things in order to get where you're going. And don't feel bad about it. If you can't keep eating bacon, stop eating bacon because you, if you're not alive or if you got some other issues that won't allow you to focus, but if you can eat all the bacon you want and be good, then do that because it's probably something else that you're over-consuming that's, that's it's, it's becoming a, a, a problem for you to function. You see, we end up realizing the less we can move, the less we will grow. Mm. You can't grow if you can't move. Yeah. Okay. So you need to do the things that will be able to, and, and I, I want you to know everything that you're hearing right now, this is just information. This is me making you get in your mind in a certain place. This isn't even the coaching. Right. This right. isn't the game. No. This right. is just us trying to let you know that we believe in you, that we're on your side, that there are people out there that know where you come from, that have lived in the places where you live, that understand that right. it is a process and we want you to know you can be whole if you choose to. That's right. That's the right. coaching you know? comes after the commitment. That's right. You know, you know uh, go. Love the, uh, the saying in the word uh, where they asked uh, a young Jesus, what was he about? And he told him, I'm about my father's business. We are about <laughs> our father's business in order to help you understand that it's going to take you physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, it's going to be a roller coaster in life. And we, like we said, life does not get easier because you have accepted the coaching, but it can get stronger because now you have somebody in your corner. Like that movie Rocky. When Rocky was getting beat up and he was getting punched around and he, he was going down, the old man Mickey, who was in his corner, told him, Get up, you son, because I don't hear no bell. See, we hear right. sit in your corner to tell you, Get up. There is no bell right now. You can keep fighting. You can keep striving and you can keep pushing forward. So no matter what, 
just keep on moving. So, you know, this has been a powerful, impactful time, man. And, you know, I hope these people, whoever watches right now, whoever watched the replay, you know, tap in and tune in, man, and get it and, and, and log in because you're going to get something that's unique for you as an individual to move on to the next level. So in parting words, I asked uh, L first, what's the encouraging word you drop on the people before you drop the mic? Yeah, yeah I, I had to write it down because I was just like, man, I want you to understand that. Put your energy into things that actually make you grow. I'm going to say it again. Put your energy into things that actually going to make you grow. People, music, food, we got to be healthy. Okay, as much as I I, I love my Chick-fil-A, but I know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but we got to remove ourselves. We got to remove ourselves from the negative people situation. Yeah. And we, we got to get ourselves around positive people. So that's that's my word of encouragement, guys, just to stay in the positive realm, not the negative. Let them know where they can follow you at and find you at and what you're working on right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm on TikTok. I'm on social media. I am Lamar Wilson. Right now, I am finishing up my children's book. I, I just sent it out to just get edited, just make sure everything is good. So I'll be having my children's book in July. This is going to be something that I'm giving myself. That's my birthday gift to myself, but I'm going to give it to the world. My children put called Oliver's First Day. No doubt. And my man, my man, my man, Al must preach, man. What's your encouraging word to the people as a coach, mentor, and master builder? Before you drop the mic, what you want to tell them? First off, I'm going to keep it short because I know just like in church, you know, when you get to that last part of the sermon, you want to get out of there, right? <laughs> but uh, I, I, I want everybody to remember – um, that, that, you know, love is important. We love you. You know, we love you because you're a part of us and you're a part of something greater. I want you to know that you can tap into it at any given time. You have to accept that it's going to be a process for you. And, and, and there's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing that you can't be, rebuild. I, cause I always say it, if I did it, you can do it. Um, and, and, and I didn't come from anything with any great skill, I've gone through enough hardships to understand you where you're at. Um, but I want to offer you the opportunity to be able to sit down, to be able to, you know, to just, you know, shoot me a DM. My, my, my platform on Instagram is Al Must Preach. Um, my platform on TikTok is uh, who asked me, who underscore asked underscore me. Um, and I'll probably just change that to Al Must Preach too. But I, I, I want you to come you know, sit down and fellowship with me in some kind of a way to where we can have a mild dialogue and we can see if it's a good fit for us to be able to grow together, okay? Because if you come to be a part of what I'm doing and become to be a part of what any other brothers on here are doing, you're coming to our family, okay? You're coming to be a part of our community. And that's important because we got to hold you to a high standard because you asked to be a part of something great, okay? And then um, I'm, I'm finishing up a book of my own. It's called The Journey of Becoming. Uh, it also has a companion book called The Journal of Becoming. And if you understand what that means, those are acronyms for job. Because that's what you are. You're your greatest job. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, this is the Conversation Kings, man. I just want to thank you, gentlemen, for coming on. These are uh, two powerful brothers. We just had to come together because, like Al said and L said, you know what I'm saying, this is a community. And we want you all to, you know what I'm saying, continue to believe in yourself, believe in the energy that you have. We want to continue to deliver a powerful message to you all so you all can continue to grow because we are a community of changing the mindset, mentoring. Um, you know, if, if you need us to come, also, if you need any uh, real life speakers that's going to speak their truth, go hit up at I am Lamar Wilson at Al Must Preach because these two gentlemen are really powerful and impactful. Y'all go follow, give them some love, and I thank you once again. This is the Conversation Kings, and remember, life don't get easier; you just get stronger. I appreciate you, brothers. Y'all keep living a, living that uh, that mentor and coaching life, Kings. Blessing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. It's gonna be a part three, fellas. <laughs> Got you. <laughs>